The subject of this tutorial, noise reduction. There are times to use it, and there are times that you shouldn't use it. I use it on my auditions, just about every single one of them, because you're not only judged by your talent, but by your studio quality, how good your studio sounds. So let's play around with noise reduction. All right, first we have to record something, and before we do that, let me mention that after I speak, I'm going to remain silent for about four or five seconds so that we can sample some room noise. Speaking of which, you might hear something in the background. That is a fan at full blast. And that's intentional because I have a pretty quiet room, so we needed to actually, we needed to create some noise for the noise reduction. So here goes. There once was a man from Nantucket who kept all his cash in a bucket. All right. Now, before we move on with the next section of the tutorial, if you don't mind, I need to turn that fan off. It's still winter here, and quite frankly, I'm freezing my nuts off. Now, let's do some noise reduction. We start by highlighting the room noise. Now, go to Effects, Restoration, and Capture Noise Reduction Profile. On your keyboard, it's a simple Alt plus the N key. All right, we've sampled that room noise. Unhighlight it by clicking on your screen. Go back to Effects. Go back to Restoration. And you'll click Noise Reduction Process. This N here is a keyboard shortcut that I created for the process, which makes it a lot faster. The only thing you're going to change here is this number here. And you can do that by sliding the scroll bar here. Or you can just type in the figure you want. I'm going to go with 80. Click OK. See all that noise is gone. You can see it gone. Now, if after applying the noise reduction, your voiceover sounds kind of strange. Some people describe it as uh, alien-like. Uh, redo it. Undo what you did. Redo it. Try a lower figure, perhaps. It may also be that your room is just too noisy to deal with. So keep that in mind as well. By the way, you might also capture some room noise at the beginning of your recording session by simply recording just the room noise in a separate file and then saving it, capturing that noise profile, and then starting your session. Here's an important rule. Never do anything to your file until you've asked the client or the studio if they want you to. Most of the time, they'll tell you no. Just send me the raw audio. So ask before you do noise reduction or anything else to your file. Oh, and just remember, noise reduction will not take away dog barks, kids screaming, and planes flying overhead. <laughs> Don't try that. That's it for this time. I'm Scott Fortney. Join me on Facebook in the group Inside Adobe Audition.